Hey, you doing here? Well, we're back again. Um, the OAS Rock and um, oh crap, yeah, it did that again for some reason. Okay, it doesn't want to recognize my uh, SD card. I've already done this once, but you know what? I just remembered that I forgot to do this. take that SD card out and put it in the other slot and then it will recognize it. I mean, it might work if you put it back in the same slot. I don't know, but I haven't tried that because I got it working. That's all I care about. So then I hit control alt delete. Should recognize it this time. It did that and then I just hit control alt delete without thinking. It's really not the best time when I first, right after breakfast when I still don't know what I'm doing to try to do all this, especially when it doesn't work right anyway. But I wanted to get this scan going because it can take three to four hours. I wanted to get it going so that it would be done because yesterday by the time I got ready to start the scan it was time to go to bed so I didn't do it. So I lost another day on this thing. <coughs> Antivirus. I'm afraid this one's not going to work. And if it has Ubuntu on it then why doesn't it work? It should. You know, I guess I should try going into that other menu and see if it's got anything to help me. Let it finish adjusting before I start hitting stuff. Check disk for defects. Boot from first hard disk. I'm going to hit that. I don't know, I think it'll take too long, but I'm going to check disk for defects. Maybe I've got a bad ISO. Seems to me like the errors are odd, and I've never... I've run a couple other Ubuntu, or at least one other Ubuntu um, based rescue IS, you know, ISOs and uh, it ran just fine, no problems. Might have had to select the, you know, the basic video. A lot of times I call it basic video option or something, but uh, so I'm just wondering. So yeah, you can if you had it on a CD or DVD, you could check that. Of course, that's where you most likely have errors is when you burn it on that. That can happen pretty easy. That's one reason why I don't do that so much anymore. Unless I just really can't put it on a USB for, like for a long time, I only had these two little two gig SD car, uh, USB sticks, and they weren't big enough for a lot of the distros. A lot of them are, you know, three and a half gig. You know, the Fedora and stuff, or the. Well, not Fedora, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Fedora remixes and stuff like that. Remixes get pretty big. And I like remixes because they have a lot of software ready to go. But, um, okay, check finished errors found one files. Okay. Hmm. So, what do you do about that? I guess you say it's messed up. And don't keep trying. I was thinking about going into that other menu and seeing if there was something to. Okay, it's rebooting again. Let's see if it'll still see the card. So, I'm guessing I've got a bad ISO for some reason. I can't remember. I don't think there was even an MD5 or SHA or anything that came with it either to check it, so back in there yeah I don't have any other I don't have any other but I've already just got there using uh, bit defender the only other one I saw that looked a lot of I've been looking up uh, I'm, da I'm down to Google searching and finding more uh, rescue out discs that I don't remember or haven't heard of and but the problem is most of them are too old to even really want to use 2010 and 2012 2013 that's all really too old you know so, because uh, uh, even if they update the virus definitions, uh, the, uh, you know, there's more to it than just the definitions that make them good at uh, finding, finding malware and viruses and stuff. So, irons didn't run right either. All right, we'll go back in there just for the heck of it. Avira. Just to make sure, I gotta hurry up and hit yes. And that should give me, yeah, that menu right there. Okay, now I thought I saw something in here about 
something to help uh, one, oh you vent to disk that wouldn't boot we already know there's some one at least one file in there that has an error and so that's probably what's wrong with it yeah there's stuff about hirings so I might be able to use those for hirings I mean but their uh, hirings is too old any of the virus scanners on there are going to be too old to use there's several trying to just go through here quick as I can I guess I'm not aiming the phone good okay if you can see it you probably already found it before me because I don't can't read real fast let's see I don't see a mention of the event 2 in there when I want to find something on the, when I have my full system up and running I can just use find you know in that page I'm on but uh, I boot is a typical ISO EG Linux etc boot is an ISO okay so I'll go in through it one more time, see if I missed it. Yeah, there's some about hirings, a couple in the middle there about hirings that just might be what I need for hir get hirings to work right, because it wasn't working right. Okay, I don't. I thought I had remembered something in there about. I think I'll do the uh, just to see. Remember, what is it? Load into memory and boot. M I I so ma'am. It's also very hard for me to f see across uh, lists like that without lines under them to, to uh, get in the right place. Yeah, it's doing it. I can see it loading it. And at the bottom left corner, it's counting up. 670 megabytes and it's at 144 and counting. So, oh, my arm hurts from sitting still so long. Just to count it. It's not real slow, but it's not real fast either. So, can't speed it up and it's not it's almost there so there's no point in starting a new video I don't think I don't think this will help but why not and then I'm not gonna keep if it's got a bad file on it then I would just delete that ISO from here from my SD card and my system and it's not I'm gonna fool around with it but there's something wrong with it okay here we go we're back in Avira. Okay, now we'll go to English again. Oops. So if you don't hit anything, I was slow this time. If you don't hit anything, then it uh, goes ahead and tries to boot all on its own. I guess English is the default option. I was kind of thinking it didn't do that because before I was, thought I was kind of slow and it didn't didn't go anywhere, you know. Of course, this time I did, uh, oh, look at that. That made it work. Now, why? Well, good. Okay, got to accept their license agreement. This looks awfully familiar. Oh, I have ran this. I don't remember if I ran on this system, but this is the one I was thinking of that runs on uh, Ubuntu. I ran it off my uh, USB stick. So, I don't know why. <coughs> I was having trouble. But loading it into memory made it work. That's interesting. I just did that on a hunch. I really didn't expect it to do anything. And uh, of course, it's just sitting there right now, just starting it up. But uh, it will open up. I think it will open up here in a minute, and then automatically update. 
and I do I think you get to choose what you want to scan before it starts I don't think it starts automatically but it's got a different kind of desktop than what most rest of them have it's got a I don't know what it's not really like gene it's not really gen, like genome 3 it's kind of a, I've seen it like this kind of desktop and other uh, it may be just like XFCE but with a different setup in it or something. I've seen it in actually some other like uh, backup distros and stuff. That you've got uh, says dash home. I guess that's the da I remember hearing something about that dash button. Got Firefox. It's got a file browser. Gparted. Terminal system and then what about, uh, about Fedora, uh, Fedora, about Avira. I mean it's kind of reminds you of Genome 3. I thought I'd look in here while I was waiting for that to update. Settings, details, Ubuntu 12, Avira, says what this is, AMD, Athlon, dual core, uh, 32 bit. Oh, this was a 64 bit processor. Oh, OS type 32 bit. Yeah. Default applications. Uh, what I was thinking is maybe it would say what the desktop it was running. But that didn't say. It must be up downloading. Starting Avira Core Services, it must be downloading the. Uh, definitions because it's taking a lot longer than it would just to start something up. Right. I clicked on about a virus system and nothing happened. Okay, let's go back to maybe it was right in here and I just didn't see it. Hmm. a system monitor in here all settings that is all settings now well, genome didn't get nothing oh it's got a loud key, uh, key responses Volume must be kind of high, maybe. Well, I'm not that curious. A virus surfaces could not be initialized. Oh, why? Maybe that one messed up file. Oh, now you can see. Oh, now there's two of them. That was the system thing. That uh, that went away. It's just some weird stuff. I'm getting to think maybe I wouldn't trust to use it anyway. All that button up there, the dash home. Uh, I remember a long time ago when I tried to run this on something, it wouldn't work right. So. Oh, you could tell it to scan, but it wouldn't do you any good. I'm going to say since I know that there was one one file, that, no telling which file it was, that had an error in it and that checked the I, tech disk, checked the ISO, that it was not, not, not worth running it for three or four hours because it could be, it might not work. And since it didn't update properly or didn't open properly, yeah, I'm not going to fool with it. Take this off of here. Okay, so that's a nix on the, uh, no nix. No Linux on the uh, Avara. Nix the Avara. Let's see. Shut down. Shut down. Okay. Well, back to the drawing board. I have to go find another ISO, or I could just boot into the uh, <coughs> system. I don't think it will boot. I think I have to fix it. But I kind of wanted to do just one more scan. But the last one didn't have any. Last scan with Bitdefender didn't have any real viruses it was just a APK Android install file application files that had some warnings about them being able to contact like send texts and stuff so and they were actually applications that come uh, 
with the phone uh, that uh, I recognize the names. I've seen them before. They were, I uh, can't remember them now, but they were applications that would do with the service, you know, the phone service and stuff. So they probably contacting the service when you don't tell them to is why, why they got flagged. And you can't stop that in phones, can you? Unless you're a real software engineer. Okay, well, let's go. Bye.